I just didn't feel like people were trying, they didn't care. I just wanted people to see what you can do, you know, and I just wanted people to see that if you actually put the effort in, you get the results, you get the shop, you get the customers, you can make this hobby work. So as I went on, I realised I wanted to do more. I wanted to create a revolution, the Solly Revolution. Greetings revolutionaries, so today is obviously day 29. Um, today is the day where we were going to talk about something that we probably should have done earlier in the month, but we haven't got round to. So we're going to say we're going to review our cleanup crew. It's something that we tend to put in all our tanks anyway. Anyone knows we have an absolutely huge selection of cleanup crew, like a lot of you already have conchers and grazing snails and not just the usual suspects. So what we're going to do today is maybe go around, have a look in the tank, see what cleanup crew we've already got in there. And if we need to add anything, we'll add one or two little special bits just to uh, show you the sort of options available that you can purchase in store. Well worth looking at your cleanup crew though, because they're going to save you loads of work. So we'll now have a look around, see what we've already got in there, and then we'll work out what we're going to need and then add it to the tank. Right, so what we're going to do today is review our cleanup crew. This is one of the jobs that you should probably do every so often. It's amazing how you just lose the odd little snail, but if you don't review it every so often, it can build up and build up and build up, and all of a sudden you haven't got much cleanup crew left. As a general rule of thumb, we say one snail per 20 litres for grazing, and one snail per 20 litres for like Nasarius and bottom grazers. Obviously you can also add some shrimps in there, and you can add some ornamental stuff such as your sort of anemone crabs, stuff that just add a bit of interest to your sexy shrimps, that sort of thing. So as we go through the tanks, obviously concept two, you sort of put the Nasarius in, it's also got the conch in, they're doing a fantastic job. You can see them in the series are actually in a little bit of the left over here. So in concept three, we haven't actually got any cleanup crew in there at the minute. So that's something we're gonna review and we'll change. And you can see the sand is not looking great. So we'll just work on that in the next few decks. And then obviously concept one, we've got a little bit of cleanup crew, but as this tank is about to come to the end of its cycle, we've got a couple of conchers in here, we've got a couple of the series, a few greys and snails. So this is quite well stocked in terms of cleanup crew. Um, it's something that worked, but this tank is about to come to the end of its life. It's had its three months now, so we'll start pulling this apart. So we're not going to add any more to that. So really, we just need to focus on tank three, which hasn't got any in, and it's sort of now it was a month and a half, and it was always designed to be a tank which you, where you hadn't necessarily get the tank a lot of love and how to bring it back round. So that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to try and get some conchers in there to get that over, a few nasarius and a few grazers now just to help pick any algae we might have. 